today I am again on my Ariaka brand journey. I'm going to visit Mr. Koshiro Tamura of the brand Mizra. Uh, and even though they're a very modern, casual clothing brand, they use traditional dyeing and printing techniques in the clothing. I was born in Kyoto, but I grew up somewhere else, which gave me the chance to look at Kyoto from outside. I was really inspired by the atmosphere of the areas Arashiyama and Yasaka. Kyoto is hard to define. It's like the ancient coexists with the present in harmony. How can you show the spirit of Kyoto in Western clothing? Jeans were originally invented in the US, but you can incorporate the kimono quite naturally. I want to create clothes that people can wear for a long, long time. That's what I consider to be quality, and I have my pride. My pride doesn't allow me to neglect these details. I believe all of that will eventually be expressed in the figure, the silhouette of the clothes. I want to create something that smells of Kyoto. But the thing about Kyoto craft is the perfectionism. Kyoto has many craftspeople because it's an area without raw materials, which means people really have to work on their technique to make up for that. We didn't have to go all over Japan. We wanted to use people we we're very close to. In the first place, we're producing things we want to sell to consumers, so we have to get as close to perfection as possible. And this means having to control a myriad of things, such as the temperature or the time. It all started by using sweet cooking wine, a vinegar and so on. The first time I saw the ink, the color that comes from the khaki fruit, I was attracted to the hidden beauty, and I sensed a very Japanese thing called wabi-sabi. Japanese indigo has this very deep color. But the people we work with are not using anything chemical at all. There's nothing artificial. That's what we want to use. The dyeing process also consists of many layers. Even when the first layer comes off, the other layer from beneath comes through, so it just has so much depth. We're definitely going to continue using this type of indigo. Tell me about how you do your printing in Kyoto. It all started with the concept of combining the West and the East. I wanted to use the Nishida factory, as they have always used the traditional way of printing. For instance, red, blue, black. They're also perfectionists in their work and really care about every single detail. Even the parts that can't be seen. And that makes them perfect for us. How do you combine the West and the East in your clothing? Well, I've always liked jeans and was thinking about how to bring in, how could I integrate something Japanese into jeans? So I came up with the idea of using various types of Japanese cloth and applying that to jeans, which is obviously Western. A lot of people think tradition and innovation are opposite of each other. What do you think? I don't think they are opposites. I think only when you know both do you understand innovation is the continuation of tradition. The only difference is these, these younger guys are bringing in new ideas. So from Mizra, they can't just be a, you know, a, a worker of textiles. They need a brand to make something. But they take that old idea of really making nice, comfortable fabrics and as a family. It's really 
uh, just taking that past right into the future.